Hello, I'm Stephen Cooley and welcome to Stephen Cooley Real Estate Show. On today's show, we're going to talk about something that affects every single homeowner and that is pests and other wood boring insects. I've got Joe Riddling on the show today. Joe, you've been on the show in the past. You're our, our pest expert. Well, that's great to hear. <laughs> and um, Joe Riddling with Riddling Pest Control. And so um, I'd like to start out by just kind of naming what pests we deal with on a daily basis in our homes that we need to create barriers and things against. So everybody thinks termites, but right. there's more that you deal with in your business. And so touch on the different pests that we deal with. Sure. Um, you know, termites are obviously a major issue because they cause more damage than pretty much any uh, natural disaster yeah. that we have. Uh, we also deal, uh, this time of year, we're dealing with ants a lot of times. You know, ants will uh, look for moisture. When it rains a lot, they come out of the ground. We deal with uh, house centipedes. Um, we deal with uh, um, fleas and ticks. And uh, we also deal with wildlife. You know, we do we'll deal with bats up in attics as well as some wildlife. Not as much mouse right now, but rodents underneath the house. And using bats as an example, because actually that's very common, as you know, because you come and get bats out. It's not actually the bats causing the problems, is it? No, bats are actually very beneficial. Right. Uh, bats eat a lot of insects, so they're actually protected. We can't kill any bats. But when bats nest in a house under eaves, um, they hang out during the day, feed at night. And while they're hanging out during the day, they do their business and they drop a lot of guano up in the attic. And that is very bacteria ridden. So right. um, people who are in houses that have that, if there's a large accumulation of that, it can cause some health problems. Absolutely. So um, everybody needs to watch for that. All right, let's, the one that we hear about the most is termites. We're in a very active termite area. Um, when you build a home, it is building code requirements to poison the soil before the home's built. In the old days, that lasted longer than it does today because environmental hazards and things that now is not as strong. Am I right on that? Absolutely, yes. Um, they, what we do now is we pre-treat the soil on new houses, um, and the chemicals we use now are, are uh, more uh, environmentally conscious. You know, they're designed to break down in the soil over a period of time. Uh, but the key to all termite um, uh, prevention is monitoring. You know, keeping an eye on it, checking the house once a year, right. uh, having someone crawl underneath the house if it's a crawl space, or look around the outside and inside if it's a slab. And the very basics is a termite is a bug that eats wood, right? That's exactly right. Um, the, so, if I'm home, the, the best way to know if I've got termites is to call you out and for you to do an inspection to see if I've got them. But what are some signs inside a home for just a homeowner to see that might be signs of I mean, I've seen pictures fall off the wall sure. from termites eating behind the wall. So what are some basic signs that you could see as a homeowner that would let you know you've got termites? Yeah, termites are actually the only bug that we know that we deal with here that uh, eats wood. You know, other bugs will tunnel in wood, but termites eat wood. Um, we did one uh, termite work a uh, uh, couple of weeks ago, and they had actually tunneled into the wall and were eating through the sheetrock. So small holes on the baseboard. Uh, paint that looks like it's flaking away would indicate that the wood behind it's been eaten. Um, in the spring, early spring, you know, we talk February, March, April, that time, the termites will swarm. So a large amount of bugs flying out obviously will indicate a termite activity. Okay, and I've seen in hardwood floors the little tracks where they've eaten the hardwood floors. Also, tell me about termite tunnels because that's a sign too. Yes, when we go under houses or when we go in garages specifically, um, we look for termite uh, shelter tubes. The termites here are uh, subterranean termites. So they live under the ground and the only way they can eat the wood is to get up to the wood in the uh, house. So they climb up the brick walls and they build these tunnels out of dirt. Um, they, they, you bring the dirt up, make the tunnel, eat the wood and bring it back down to the colony. So that's what we look for. They look like little uh, highways of termites. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I've seen a lot of those before. So um, if my home's not treated, the best thing to get under is a treatment bond that guarantees you don't have termites. So explain what that is, because a lot of people don't understand exactly what that is. Right. Termite, we can do termite uh, prevention even if you don't have termites. Um, if the house has been pre-treated, typically 10, 8 to 10 years, uh, you probably need to get it treated again. Um, what we do is, uh, I've got one scheduled for next week. Uh, the gentleman doesn't have termites, uh, but he doesn't want to worry about termites, Absolutely. you know. And he said, uh, just go ahead and treat it. So we'll go out there, uh, treat around the house, 
basically put a chemical barrier in the soil around the home. So if termites do show up, they go through the barrier and will get killed off. And we present him with the bond, which is basically a guarantee against termite uh, reinfestation. Okay, and there's also a bait system that can be done. I, I walk around homes and I see these green mm -hmm. little caps out in the yard. Tell me about that. Yeah, that's a termite uh, bait or monitoring system. Mm -hmm. And what we do, that's another option. Um, what that does is that puts termite bait stations uh, around the house. Every 10 feet, we sink a little, uh, it looks like a large golf tee into the ground. And basically, it's got wood in it or bait in it at the time. And the termites, as they travel under the soil towards the house, uh, would hit those bait stations before they get to the house. Those are a little more inten uh, intensive on our part. We've got to check those at least monthly or every three months. I got you. So, but if the termites do get to the house, we can establish a chemical barrier in that spot. We don't have to do the whole house, don't have to drill or anything like that. So it's a little bit easier on the homeowner as far as um, the uh, work we do at the house. Okay, and some people, when I go out to a home and I'll ask them if they're under a termite treatment, they get that confused with like a, bu a bug contract okay. where spiders and all that. So tell me just the difference in that because there's another contract you can do just keep all little pests away from your home, right? Exactly, yeah. We do a general pest control mm -hmm. um, and basically we come out every three months, spray inside and outside the home. We'll spray in the garage, we'll go under the crawl space, take a look under there. And uh, with our uh, uh, general pest prevention, we do a, a yearly termite inspection. Right. So once a year, usually in the fall or spring, we'll go under the house or in through the garage. Uh, just check for termites, and um, it is separate from termite uh, protection, but it can be combined with a termite bond. Absolutely. When I go out and put homes on market on the market, or we're selling a home to a buyer, I love to hear that the home's under a termite bond because that really guarantees that there's no termite damage to the home. I've, the most damage I've seen in our area is 50% of the home value was destroyed by termites, and so this is something very serious that can ruin and destroy the whole, the whole entire home. And just to note, your homeowner's insurance does not cover termite damage. Not at all. It, it covers um, storms and hail storms, which we've recently gotten, and all those type things, but it does not cover wood boring insects. And so this is something that could really destroy a home. There's homes in the country that's been torn down from, from um, termites, and there's been homes in our area where they have to put a whole entire tent over the house to fumigate it and really gave that home a stigma even to this day. So right. um, you definitely want to get in control of that. And it's really not that expensive to have them under bond. No, when you consider the value of your home, usually it's your, it's your largest asset, you know, your home. So, uh, I mean, the, the percentage, you know, a typical termite treatment can run on a large home, you know, maybe into the thousands, but usually it's less than that. Uh, less than a thousand dollars. So that is something you definitely want to keep in mind. I encourage everybody in our area to have termite treatment. Okay, Joe, we've told people about how to detect termites in their home, how to treat the termites, how to prevent the termites. Let's tell folks how to get under a termite bond. Will you please give us your information so they can call and get a termite bond? Yeah, I sure will. Um, I can be called, reached at 803-324-BUGS, uh, which is 2847. Uh, or I could be reached at uh, riddlingpestcontrol at yahoo.com. That's our email address. Thank you for being on our show today. Thanks for being our pest expert. I'm sure that a lot of people are going to be calling to take care of that because that's great information. Thank you, Joe, and we appreciate you being on the show. Thanks for watching today's show. We've got beautiful homes for sale in your area. We'll be right back. I hope you've enjoyed watching the Stephen Cooley Real Estate Show. If you're interested in advertising your business on the program, please give us a call at 803-326-2777 or send us an email at ask at makeitlocal.com. Join us next week for more discussions on real estate topics and help in finding your perfect home. Thanks for watching.